Welcome to Soft Reviewed. In this video, I just want to show you a Gamma alternative. This is one of the best paid service for creating like slideshows because this use paid AI models. You just need to give it a prompt and the AI will create slides for you. But if you go to the pricing, you can see this free plan. It's just a one time credit. If you pay monthly, you will need to pay like $10. And if you pay like yearly, it's $8 even though it's cheap you will still have to pay right as you can see it uses all these different ai models idea flux stable diffusion gemini google imagine so all the paid models are available for you to create this slideshow what i am about to show you is completely free and instead of ai generated image it pulls image from the actual web after doing search it's more like an ai agent that's where this really shines this website is like similar to chat gpt as you can see you can just chat with a chatbot and it's a chinese model it just rolled out in the past month or so so it's relatively new when you compare with other models but this is like a really good model if you look at the benchmarks it's placed above cloud for opus right so as you can see this is the model the z model and also so what i am trying to say is that it's not really a bad model it's better than most of the closed source model that is coming into effect actually when we create a slideshow because the ai is more intelligent which is working in the background and i necessarily won't tell you like it's better than gpt5 the main use case for this is to create this ai slide because i have used several tools with this tool i can specifically say it produces one of the best outputs especially when it comes to ai slides and the best part is if you click on this ai slides and if you just enable this image search it will incorporate the real images from real search that's what makes it different let's ask for uh, five economies in the world right let's create a chart based on that so these are the actual top five economies like united states china germany india and japan so that's the actual fact right so the best part is the hallucination is very low with this model so all you have to do is just select the ai slide and if you have any additional requirement you can definitely add that in this prompt area so just click on send that message and if you notice now you'll see that it's thinking right it's it's also a natively thinking model it's using different tools unlike other ai models it's using different tools it's going to websites it's extracting information from that as you can see it's go it's actually visiting that page in the background and extracting the relevant information from different sources and cross-checking whether it's uh, factual or not so that's why uh, as you can see it's in the back end it already pulled the information that i have just shown you right that's what's happening in the background i just want to show you like how this works so this is the AI slides. Um, I have already created one slide for you while this is happening in the background. Let's go to a slide that it made. This was the slide. So it did a lot of work before giving me this slide. As you can see, I asked it to create a slide for GPT-5 versus Grok4 versus Gemini 2.5 versus Claude 4.1 and compare all the details including the price, context and output and the knowledge cutoff date and different benchmark pros and cons and what's the best use case. If you like just click on play here. See it's like a really beautiful slide right and the best part is it's actually pulled the GPT-5 logo. It identified that specific that's what's really interesting about this specific AI model it figured out where each uh, each of the should go and it correctly placed it and that's really intelligent and the slides also look really great see it is talking about all the models that we asked for an overview then key specification all these information are correct if for knowledge cutoff date i was like searching with perplexity pro and it even hallucinated and gave me the wrong dates so here, if it cannot like verify the information, it will definitely tell you like it's unknown, right? So that's much better than giving us some false information. As you can see, correctly named all the variants, regular, mini and nano. And the Grok 4 also has got like a heavy version as well. And Gemini 2.5 got like a pro version. And it, I think it missed the flash version, but 
it's okay and Claude also 4.1 and the pricing is all really put to the point and yeah it's output ten dollars and the context window is also like one million and yeah it couldn't find this and it said it marked it as unknown as you can see the look wise it's really great so if you want to make it better you obviously can prompt it the colors that you want the style that you want this is just me giving the versus prompt and just giving the requirement so out of the box this is what you will get if you are someone like me who like to get the information visually then this will definitely help you out and you can also uh, understand it really quickly when you have all these icons and information so the best use case for each model real-time process definitely i can say for sure that grok is one of the best uh, research models uh, it finds really great information and most of the time in the accuracy level is really high yeah that's from my own experience it beats perplexity and the gpt's deep research and that i can say for sure you can see the best use cases conclusion and recommendation is also provided so you normally get around eight slides right so if i just go back here let's look at what happened with our this is how it actually called our slide so as you can see our first slide is ready see it pulled like a background image and it gave like a shadow effect which is very rare for normal slideshow generator that i have used before if you don't believe me you can definitely go with the same query in chat gpt ask it to create like a slide and see the difference and the best part is this is free and the limits are also really generous see now we have that information the united states china germany india and japan we got our slides i just want to quickly show you that's why i just gave it like an easy task and yeah it's not just that you can there is like a new option here called magic design this is like a, an example that we can ask you to generate basinga create a hilarious nerdy presentation to celebrate the big bang theory so i have already done that i just want to show you like how it looked the presentation it's about that big bang show as you can see in the background we have that cast behind it the big bang theory proof that nerds are cooler than you so yeah as you can see the show show summary what that is about a really good show if you already don't know it's I mentioned all the character names here correctly sheldon cooper raj putrapali penny see it looks really great right and we also have a screenshot from the actual show that's what what is really surprising and we have another one see this is the slides that it generated really cool right it looks really amazing yeah so we can also create magic designs so as you can see this is the prompt so if your prompt is like that so you can always say, copy this and replicate that right if you like the specific style you can just copy it and just paste and ask the AI and you can feed in your information and ask it to generate something based on that specific style really easy and this is how the magic design looks I just took it from an example prompt that's given and this is how it looks so this is a new addition here I think the AI won't add don't have that image search it will just have a placeholder yeah definitely a good model if you want to try this out and yeah based on my test I have not faced any restrictions on the usage I have only used it for lightweight use cases in order to just test it out during that i did not face any like restriction so i just want to give you guys like an additional option to paid options like a gamma and yeah you can use this for free and the website is also really easy to remember it is z.ai right just type in if you go to google you just type in see this is the domain name dot uh, ai so uh, if you just click on it it'll take you directly to chat.z.ai i will have the link in the description for both gamma 
and AI if you want to check any of these options. I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please do uh, let me know by liking this video so that I can show you more free services like this. And yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day. Click that thumb.